How many of you use salt for prayers? <laughs> Almost everybody. And um, if you ever use salt for prayer, that is because you do not understand the implication of using salt. How many years have you been praying that things should be good for you? That you should have a husband, you should have a house, you should have a child. Things should move better for you. And those of you who think that when you are a spiritual person, everything has to be all perfect for you, check the description description below you will see a link where I spoke about why spiritual people suffer most. Back to the video. Those of you that pray with salt, please stop it. Before you ever pray with salt, make sure you finish watching this video. Salt is a crystal just like every other crystal that spiritual people pray with. And that is why in the watered religion, we are very very careful with trying to do things that we add more problem to the problem we are already born into. And so, in the watered religion, we stay away from crystals and we just decide to work with the one we understand, which is salt. If you don't know, yes, salt is a crystal. And why is salt as a crystal? One of the most powerful crystal used by spiritual and majority of them, more than 90% of people that use this salt, they don't even know how to use it. Some of you who call yourself professors in spirituality, you will not agree with me. But I can tell you, majority of spiritual people that are on TikTok, on YouTube, everywhere claiming spiritual, they have less, less than 10% of the pure divine spiritual knowledge. Churches, they pray with salt. You go to different places, especially the Omaomi, they pray with salt. They tell you carry a bag of salt and go and throw in the ocean. Like a time they told me I have to go to this to the ocean and throw salt. And this was the period my spirituality started coming up. We can't go and throw salt in the ocean. As you go to the ocean and throw salt, you say yes. Salt comes from the ocean. Why would I go to the ocean to go and throw salt in the ocean? That was the spirit ministering to me. And we never did it. And nothing happened. We became Became better. Now, this is why you should never use salt. Salt is a crystal, and it is the only crystal that does not have a master. Number one, salt does not have a master. Meaning, salt does not answer to anyone. So, when you pack salt and you are praying with salt, <laughs> you think you are telling salt to do something against against somebody or someone that is after your life. Before the salt goes and follow that word you are speaking over it, the salt first comes to your life. And if the salt check that inside of you, you are planning evil or you are doing that prayer out of envy, you are doing the prayer to someone that is more spiritually aware than you, the salt will attack you first too. And that is why you keep putting salt and cloves and bay leaves in your house and nothing happens to you. And I talk to African spiritualists that tell people to use cloves and bay leaves. These things are not even found in Africa. They are not our, they are not our spiritual items we use for spiritual work it cannot work for you you ask yourself why after you've been putting clothes and bellies in the house nothing is working there is possibility that it is something else that is working for you not those things so before you pray with salt or you use salt for any form of ritual be assured that you don't have any evil against anyone especially those of you call yourself from maomi the water children or spiritual children either you are from the firmament from the naga or from the water or from the earth whichever of those spiritual world you are from Salt, <laughs> salt is not your friend though, it's your biggest enemy. And I see a lot of people come out to quote one of the ancient scripts, one of the ancient stories. He said, ye are salt of the nation. Do you want to be salt? Some of you don't understand that inscription. Ye are salt of the nation. Because they said you are salt of the nation. Oh, you are happy. No. <laughs> salt is the most dangerous thing on earth when you eat too much of it. You are salt of the nation. What you put salt in, it becomes sweet. Pack one full bag of salt inside soup. Will you be able to eat the soup? No. Put a small quantity of salt in it. Will you be able to eat it? No. Meaning it requires a certain amount, measurement. It tells you how detailed the spiritual is. You can't just do anything, yeah, 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 and expect results. When you do this, yeah, 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 you expect yeah, yeah, yeah results. Especially to you watered believers. Do money ritual. You just do yeah, yeah, yeah. It's better you don't do the money ritual for that day than to do the money ritual while you are quarreling with your wife, your girlfriend, your uncle, your boss. Ye are salt of the nation. It means you don't need to put yourself too much or put little of yourself, but moderately live a life. Some of you, you didn't go to school. 
but you want Uzi Ben to give you the ritual on how to make money. When it's obvious that spiritually, it is what you have in your hand that the spirit blesses. And so instead of you to labor for one hour for 1,000 Naira, you are laboring for only 30 minutes for that same 1,000 Naira. The difference between you that is laboring one hour and the spiritual person is because he added spirituality does not remove the labor from the wall. And those of you who want to buy the water salt, check the description below. You will see the link to the water salt where to purchase the water salt. Don't buy the water salt because you want to attack an enemy. Don't buy the water salt because there's something happening in your life that you need to clear. And that is why if you buy the water salt for any form of cleansing, something's happening in your life you want to clear. First of all, first of all, examine your life and find out that there are some certain things in your life that is not okay that's why i tell you if you are buying the water salt make sure you book an appointment with me so i can have a conversation with you ask you some certain questions then if you are not permitted to use the water salt i will tell you what to do to cleanse yourself first before you use the water salt salt whether it is the water salt is the cooking salt is sea salt whichever salt that you are being told to pray with be careful can backfire the most tiniest thing can backfire it can pause your life it can pause your destiny so as a bring salt and pray and you have been praying for more than many years and nothing has happened it is because salt does not have a master when you send it on an errand it first check you first before going to an error. Thank you.